We've got an unboxing, and today we're on the water, which is like the ideal, optimal unboxing situation. Because then you could use it on no. said water. <laughs> What's up, nerds? Welcome back to the channel. We are unboxing a whole bunch of BFS stuff and some cool things that uh, a buddy of ours, Rockablades, friend of the show, has sent us via US Post Service. So, yeah, that's right. <laughs> U.S. Postal Service. U.S. Postal Service, <laughs> like I said. Uh, so we're gonna go through all of that, and you bought a whole bunch of BFS stuff, didn't you? I went back to Bait Finesse Empire, and I spent all my money. All of it. It, it wasn't- zero dollars now. It wasn't that hard. All right, so here's everything from Rocket. This, this looks nice. Ooh. What is it about this shot specifically? My face being covered, <laughs> you jerk. We both got a pack, but we both got the same pack. The Jeff, exact same Jeff pack. did a little fishing with his. I haven't had time yet, so I'm gonna give this to Vanna here while I hold the camera. I can't see foot shots for free. It's on my own. That was ten dollars worth of dog for you. All right. So first <laughs> off, we got two different colors too. He sent us uh, kind of a bunch of the same baits in different colorways, which I highly appreciate. These are all for BFS, so they're all running lighter. This is a one eighth ounce Ribbit Runt Runner. You heard it, one eighth ounce, and it comes with these like little froggies. Little froggies. Little froggies. <laughs> so it's a Colorado. Spinner bait, as you can see there, Colorado spinner bait, and then you rig it up. I like with, those with a little froggy boy. So in this case, we have a white chartreuse little froggy. That one, uh, nice little plastic. It's that'll got, get her done. It's got them kicky feet, bro. <laughs> that that is trademarked on this channel. Kicky feet. Kicky feet. <laughs> I said it. I own it. <laughs> All right. So we got that. Two different colors. Um, I mean, the plastic's not that hard to shut. That's just Jeff. <laughs> He's, it is staple. He's still trying. <laughs> <laughs> Just close the thing. <laughs> okay, he did send that in two colors. So the second color you can kind of see there black is and green. black and red flake. Uh, so with these chartreuse kicky feet. They need to call that murder melon. Murder melon. Murder melon. Right. Ah! <laughs> these, are, these are really cool. He sent us a bunch of these. I've actually been fishing these on drop strat yeah. since we got this. We got this a couple weeks ago. And I've been catching on specifically this color and size. Banger. So these are from Beaver Bottom Baits. And check this out. Beaver Bottom Baits. Look at that. Take it with the it's, fur. It's like a little, <laughs> it's a little chunk. This color specifically has been rocking it for me. That silver flake. That's going on a Texas right? And chartreuse tail. I have micro Texas it, Texas it. And I have also thrown this on a drop shot and caught a ton of fish. So we had that. A lot, I lost you. All right. We got. This color, a little upsize, black and blue chartreuse That's a great tail. color. Love that. You could cut these tails down the middle if you wanted to. Uh, no this need. color right here, dude, that is like our favorite mule color. It's got river um, written all over it. It's pasture fire, basically, but yeah. that orange uh, motor oil, the black flake. Oh, mm, ah, yeah. And then this one, oh my God, look at They're that. They're all good. Love it. Flake, fantastic. All right. Aside from that, he did send these little crappie jigs. Got these crappie jigs from this company, M3, and they are tied really well. That chartreuse tip, mm, money. And you got that little flashy flashy there with some purple in it. That'll get her done. Two different sizes, and then we got a green pumpkin mix as well. So 1 16th ounce, 1 8th of an ounce in both colors. Absolutely love that. Hashtag will slap. And then, oh Lord. Yeah. A whole bunch of Z-Man Chatterbait Micros. Love the Chatterbait Micro. These are wire tied, so that skirt ain't going nowhere. You know this color is gonna absolutely bang. So this is called Copper Back Gill. Copper, baby. And then he sent two in the white chartreuse. I needed these bad. Yeah, these are all 1 8th of an ounce, I believe. Perfect. Yeah. And uh, yeah, 1 8th of everything, Ooh. black purple. Oh, bam, absolute banger. So Halloween. That is the uh, the Rocket kit. And, and a hat. Oh, and he did send us also two hats that we chose from, uh, and they're pretty neat. Oh, and this big sticker. M3 Jigs. <laughs> Said so we did not buy nearly enough time. Ready? Uh, give me that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Crash. Here we are. Uh, uh, Raka, thank you, man. Uh, whenever people send us stuff, I am continually humbled. We do not do anything to deserve this, and we really appreciate it. We know this is hard earned money, and you're introducing us to things that we like to fish, so thank you very much. Appreciate you, man. And we will be catching fish with that. 
All right, so in addition to the stuff that Raka sent us, we had somebody reach out from NACO, uh, which is a, you know, terminal. Amazon. It's like an Amazon terminal brand. And we found them recently. We used it for some ultralight uh, Texas rig weights for the BFS setup. So we got some 116 with some 132s. We also got some uh, drop shot weights and some free rig weights. So we're like, you know what? We already found it. Very reasonably priced uh, tungsten, like pretty cheap for the amount that you get per pack. Highly recommended. So if you guys are in the market for it, check Nako on Amazon. In sizes that you can't find. So. A lot of people brought up the issue uh, that they've encountered, that we've encountered, which is finding these light weights for BFS, for ultralight. It's tough. Like, you're not going to go on Tackle Warehouse necessarily and find those, especially not, not easily. easily. Yeah. But they, we did find, like, the uh, the Hobbit hooks were on there. Super ultralight EWGs. But this was tough. Which are fantastic. But a lot of these weights were tough to find. And then uh, our buddy from NACO Baits sent us a bunch of stuff we didn't even think about. Really, I didn't even know these existed. So check this out. First up, we got a, a quarter ounce quarter ounce quarter ounce punch skirt weight look at that so cool. a little ultra light ish like lighter punching pretty nifty pretty cool uh nice little design to it and you got that like brown skirt with the flake in there and that green pumpkin head i dig that pairing that with that rock of flipping stuff yeah exactly we got some of their nano smooth coat wacky hooks so we'll be trying these out number one and number two 10 pack 10 to a pack crazy there. good very helpful uh, these are interesting. I honestly don't know what to do with them yet. Maybe you guys in the comments can let us know, but we've got these weights that have a little screw lock on it. So these could be like a Nico rig for sure. Uh, the other option maybe with a Texas is like if you run your worm up above the hook eye, you could screw this in. Tiny child? Tiny child rig would be great. You're not gonna get this into like a Z-Man Elastic very easily, with but- With toothpick trick. Any other, you know, with a toothpick trick maybe, but like any other way, you just rig a regular plastic. So that's cool. Like that, we've got oh, these I'm excited about. So, are these the one 130 second, shut up, 130 second ounce ball head jigs. Yeah, these are absolute money. Uh, it's got a little like wrap around that bait keeper you can kind of see there. Can't go wrong, insane. So, pumps try those out. Got a whole bunch of their tungstens here, three eighths of an ounce. So, obviously, we're going to be throwing those. We've got nail weights, my gosh. Look at these nail weights. One eighth ounce tungsten nail weights for that Nico. The spread is already legit. Right? This is, it's still going, man. We got a one eighth ounce ball head jig. So same kind of idea there. Let's awesome. Uh, we got a ball head jig with a weed list setup. Dope. Dude, little rush guard there. And then check these out. Some of the plastics they sent us. We got a tube worm. That's Some cool. Silver flake. I'm excited about That's that. That's cool. Tube worm with blue flake in it, my gosh. So that's what NACO sends us. Really cool, appreciate them sending that out. Lots of stuff that we're gonna, you know, put on the water and try to fish with, and we will definitely get some catches on those. All great stuff. For a brand I never heard of, I was really surprised with the breadth of assortment, quality, price, but also like the Amazon. Like being yeah. able to get it in two days, like I'm, it's, that's insane. A, it's crazy. For tungsten at that price, really cool stuff. So very, very happy with that. Oh my God, I know. I'm just losing my arm here. It's boater season, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so up next we have what I would say, well, because I spent all the money on it, <laughs> is freaking awesome. Like I, so we've done we've done the bait finesse thing, yep. and this whole this whole shopping trip started with like I wanted to swap out some of the small treble hooks for yep. single hooks on those ultralight baits. That really is where you are like maximizing the effectiveness of a lot of these baits. But that requires tiny tiny circle hooks mm -hmm. or not circles, tiny tiny um uh split rings yeah mini and then you also need mini pliers and you also need mini hooks uh so needless to say it's a it's a rabbit hole that you go do it I, first into and then i was like i was like six hours down the rabbit yep. hole at bay finesse empire and i was like well i guess i'll just get all this other stuff too right so this is a little bit of a teaser a little extra i'm gonna give jeff the camera here if you don't mind I'm gonna throw it immediately in the water as i was joking initially <laughs> all right so yes we know terminal's boring but we'll start here and we'll go really fast for so you guys. at the end of the video yeah <laughs> So we got, these are the, look at that, double odds. So that's so the cool. smallest size. I got three different sizes of those. They had a ton of options, which thank the Lord, because they were hard to find. Um, or split rings, here's the other sizes. Number one, zero and 0.5. Wow. Pretty, just freaking cool, super small. Um, and then I went with the, these- uh, Look these at fans. those. Van Fook, who knows, <clears throat> uh, hooks. So these are those single hooks. These yep. are really for against those plugging single, minnow, micro, a medium wire micro barb. So this would be like, trout fishing uh really anytime you really need to have 
good penetration and you don't have like that monster hook set. So yep. for an ultralight, this is what you want. I got six, eight, and 10 size on these. So Insane. small and small and small. And small. <laughs> There's a number four, so that's the biggest one. Crazy small. Wow. I'm in, a, I'm in a net right now. A polar vortex. So this was really cool. I stumbled across these mini screw locks for like a swim bait. So cool. How freaking cool is that? Had to do it, got the size eight. I thought that was like a nice in the middle. And then this was a, this was just an absolute banger. Shut up, wind. I'm gonna open these up just cause they are so cool looking. It's a football jig, not loose, not loose. And it's micro. These are five grams. Things are, and these are probably some of the best looking. Look at that. Oh my God. You out of your mind? So That's whenever so you're legit. doing rocks or anything and you want to do like a craw presentation, this is like a crazy cool way to do it. So I got two of those. I got the five gram and I got a 2.5 gram. So something even smaller. Juicy. So cool. Can't wait to try those out. We're done with the terminal, but check these bad boys out. Look at those little paddle tails. These are by Cernoya and I really, I'm probably saying it wrong. There's the brand. I really want to try some stuff from them. They do a lot of bait finesse stuff that's really cool. A little bit harder to find, but high, high value. But look at those freaking little paddle tails. So I could, cool. I couldn't say no, it's impossible. <laughs> now, when I got down the rabbit hole, this is how you know I hit like the rock bottom. All right, this is where I knew I needed to go to bed. So Roro, they make a lot of these like uh, upgrade accessories for bait finesse bait casters. So what I did is I went on and I was like, well, I wonder if they have any for what I have. They do. So one is for the Zephyr, which is like the low end, and one is for the Kestrel, which is the high end. That's the one I have. I already like it. I love the Kestrel. I would love to like the Zephyr a little more. This may help me do that. These are really cheap, like 25 bucks each. Had to do it, couldn't say no. But then if you've ever done one of these before, uh, it's really hard and you never have the right tools to do a bearing upgrade. Uh, I do now and for micro stuff. So Roro also makes these really cool tools. So when you pull the pin and you finally get into like the in internals of your uh, bait caster, there's one pin that's really hard to pull. This literally does it for you. This was actually 25 bucks. So it was like one of the more expensive things that I bought. I can use this for a lot of things. I'm totally yep. worth it. And then this little pick is like a multi-tool. It's like a little, I'll try and show it to you. It's just like a little multi-tool. This was $10, absolutely had to have it. And then I knew it was time to go to bed, so I did it. And I, <laughs> I emptied out my wallet and I was like, thanks for the fun. So everything's here. This is basically enabling a lot of the stuff that we've been talking about trying and just getting better at. So um, Dave and S Empire, just holding it down. Thank you. All right, that was our largest on the water unboxing. <laughs> Lots of tiny little things. Yeah, this is our tiniest, largest. Tiny little big boy <laughs> unboxing. <laughs> All right, hopefully that was helpful for you guys. If you're looking for some of these like lighter weights, unique, terminal stuff, uh, awesome plastics, BFS, JDM, you know, we covered a bunch of stuff today. So you can check them out, places we reference for like NACO on Amazon, all the baits that Raka sent us, really appreciate Raka for doing that. And then of course you can check out Bait Finesse Empire and you should, yes, because there's cool stuff there. We got fishing to do. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.